And this is the mineral quartz, and we wanted to just talk about the nature of quartz crystals. So sometimes you'll just see sort of a mass of quartz. It doesn't look very special or distinctive, uh, but quartz also likes to grow in these long prismatic crystals. And it really doesn't matter the size. One thing you can do is uh, the angles between the crystal faces when it grows is pretty constant. So it doesn't matter whether it's a tiny little crystal or a really big crystal, those angles are always going to be the same. If you look at the end of the crystals, it doesn't look like much. It's sort of a hackly pattern. It's pretty much looking like a, a mass of, of quartz. And that's because if you smash this beautiful crystal, it doesn't really have any cleavage planes to it. You'll get a, an irregular fracture to it. Uh, sometimes there's a curved conchoidal fracture in the quartz, and you can see that too. As always, an easy test for quartz is just get your glass plate, scratch along it, and it's one of the harder minerals that's going to scratch through your glass plate and that'll help you identify it. Uh, and of course, the other quartz would do that too. A mineral you might confuse it with a little bit would be calcite, but calcite's not very hard. Uh, it's not going to scratch the glass plate. It's just powdering on the glass plate. And then if you had an acid bottle, you could always test the calcite with a quartz bottle. One last thing with the quartz crystal, sometimes you'll see it in a mineral and it'll look dark in color, something like that, and that's just because there's no light getting mixed into it. So that's the basics of a quartz crystal.